Let's take you back to Rustenburg, and that's where 11 mine workers have died and 75 others injured after a cage plunged down a shaft at Impala Platinum Mine. News from Africa's Zinigo Mshaba is our reporter on the story. Zinigo, good morning to you. So uh, you have also just arrived at uh, this mine. Uh, tell us what you know thus far and whether indeed the Minister of Mines is also in the vicinity at this hour. Yes, Tony, we have just arrived here in Rustenburg, just outside the shaft 11, where the particular incident, um, the very tragic incident that took place yesterday, Tony, as we understand that uh, over 80 people were affected, 75 were seriously injured and taken to various health institutions here in Rustenburg and surrounding towns. And of course, we know that 11 workers succumbed to that tragic incident. So we're just outside that particular shaft, and I'm stepping out of shot so that will give you a glimpse of shaft 11 of Impala Platinum Mine, where this tragic incident well, um, the minister has arrived, I've just um, had a conversation with the communications team of um, Min uh, Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Oba Ogwe de Mandasha, who's currently meeting with management, um, just getting a briefing on how and what is being done now in terms of processes in, of contacting the loved ones, the next of kin. Remember that we're talking about 11 uh, people, so you can understand that some of these workers are coming from other, some outside provinces, outside the northwest province. Others are coming from surrounding towns within the northwest province. So the management um, of the mines actually trying to communicate with the affected families in terms of informing them about these tragic news, but also trying to prepare themselves to engage with the unions. I understand that AMCO, one of the biggest mines we're representing the workers who are working in this particular shaft, is also also making his way here, and I'm talking about uh, the Secretary General, Mr. Mpahlele of AMCO, who has agreed to also give us um, a sense of what they know, what is it that they'll be having a conversation with the management about, but also we'll also get that briefing from the Minister of Mineral Resources, Minister Gwede Mandashi, soon as he is done with engaging with the um, with management of the mine. So it's a very tragic event, Oli, and you'll understand that the manner in which it had happened uh, yesterday is something that shocked the company, as they, they said in the statement that has been issued and how they've been engaging with members of the media broadly. You know, they're expressing a very shocking view, saying that, you know, this is something that has never happened in over 50 years of their existence in South Africa. So that's the situation. But in terms of the mood, Oli, as we're engaging, uh, with the members of the public that are working here, whether as hawkers or as security personnel who are not officially you know, allowed to give us a comment. But from what we understand, it's not as if the event really shook everyone who's working here, not just underground as a miner, but stakeholders who constantly engage with the miners, people who are sitting in and around here, but people who are also operating transport services just outside this shaft. They're very shocked, but you can also see from their facial expressions that they are very sad they still can't believe one of the gentlemen who spoke to us saying that you know one of the people who lost his life yesterday is a very close friend of his so he's still struggling to come to terms with that so we'll try to see if maybe we can be able to talk with some of those voices on camera but understandably so they are still very shocked right now so we'll be having those conversations with all the stakeholders of the mine as I said earlier on the, the, the unions but also the minister who's a political head of this particular portfolio in terms of how do we then hold you know, the mining companies accountable for our safety measures as well. But according to the statistics that I've read, you know, it isn't as if the mining industry has been doing well in the in recent 12 months in terms of making sure that the numbers of you know, fatal uh, injuries decrease. And it actually revealed, it was actually revealed in the lesser statistics that in terms of the numbers they are doing very well, they are able to cap death. However, this incident, we don't know how it's going to impact those statistics, but we'll give you further details of those numbers later on. So that's the latest from us. The very somber mood, uh, the management is engaging with political figures of government, Minister Gwete Mandashe, and as soon as it's done, he'll be giving us a sense and also uh, take us through what he understands in terms of the events and where the processes are at right now. Live for us in Rustenburg at the 
Impala Platinum Mine. It is the scene of the uh, tragic incident that occurred overnight. Zinegum Plaba, thank you very much for the time being. And so uh, that update he is giving us about uh, the Minister of the Mines. So we now know that he is being uh, briefed by mine management. The understanding is that he's also uh, going to be taken for an inspection in loco. Only thereafter will he engage with members of the media. So perhaps we will be unlikely uh, to talk to him at least in this hour. But stay tuned to Newsroom 405 because we are going to bring you that briefing as soon as the minister is able to talk to members of the media.